once upon a time. There lived a beautiful couple named Shidi and Inkiru. Shidi and Inkiru had been married for eight years. They loved each other deeply, but something was missing in their lives, a child. They dreamed of hearing a baby's laughter in their home. But despite visiting many hospitals and harbor homes and trying different treatments, nothing worked. Everywhere they went, people talked about them. One day, Inkiru's friend Ada said to her, Inkiru, it is your fault you can't have children. You have done several abortions when you are young. And also, I believe you are a wish because you have eaten all your children with your fellow wish. If I were you, eh, I will go and hug myself to death. Inkiru was shocked at hearing this. She cried all the way to her house. Her husband was the only person that can comfort her. Her other friends also began to avoid her, fearing that her cause could affect them and their babies. This made Inkiru feel very sad and lonely. She did, she said one night, with tears in her eyes. What if we adopt a child? She did frowned. Adopt? I don't know, but it won't be the same. Inkiru cried silently every night. She did saw her pain, and finally he said, all right, Inkiru, we will adopt. After many visits to the orphanage, they found a little girl named Oledo. She had a sweet smile and big curious eyes. Inkiru and Shidi fell in love with her immediately. They brought her home and showered her with love. At first, Everything seemed perfect. Oledo was quiet and well behaved. But soon, strange things started happening. One night, Inkiru woke up to the sound of whispers. She followed the sound and found Oledo sitting alone in the dark, talking to herself. Oledo, who are you talking to? Inkiru asked, her voice shaking. Oledo looked at her with cold eyes and said, They are here to play with me. Inkiru felt a she run down her spine. Who is here, Oledo? The spirit, Oledo whispered. Then she went back to her whispers. The next few days, we are filled with every occurrence. Doors slam shut on their own. Light flickers and strange shadows move across the walls. Oledo's behavior became more peculiar. She could laugh at nothing and sometimes stare blankly into space for hours. One night, she heard a loud crash. He rushed to Oledo's room and found her standing in the middle of the room, surrounded by broken toys. Oledo, what happened? He asked, trying to keep calm. The bad spirits don't like my toys, she whispered. She came back away, unsure of what to do. He and Inkiru decided to keep a close eye on Oledo. Inkiru and Shady were scared, but they didn't want to give up on Oledo. They decided to seek help. They brought in a priest to bless the house. But the strange event only got worse. 
All Ledo's eye could sometimes turn black, and she could speak in a voice that wasn't hers. One evening, Inkiru found Oledo in the garden, holding a dead bed. The spirit told me to do it. She said, her voice flat and emotionless. Inkiru shivered. Oledo, we love you. We will help you, she said, holding the little girl tightly. But inside, Nkiru was terrified. What had they brought into their home? One night, she woke up to find Oledo standing at the foot of their bed. Her eyes were black and her face expressionless. Oledo, what are you doing here? He asked, his voice trembling. They want you to leave, she said in a voice that wasn't hers. Who wants us to leave? Inkiru asked, sitting up in bed. The spirit, Oledo replied. They say this is their home now. Inkiru and Shidi held each other tightly. They had to find a way to help Oledo and get rid of this spirit. Desperate, Nkiru and Shidi called the priest again. This time, he brought holy water and incense, determined to cleanse the house. As he began to pray, Oledo screamed and thrashed around. Leave her alone, she cried her voice deep and unnatural. The priest continued to pray, splashing holy water around the house. Shadows moved on the wall, and the air grew thick and heavy. Suddenly, Oledo collapsed unconscious. The house went silent. The priest looked at Inkiru and Shidi. You must show her love and kindness. The spirit feed on her fear and anger. Only love can drag them away. Despite the fears and chaos, Nkiru and Shidi choose to show Ole the love. They read her stories, hug her often, and reassure her that she was safe with them. One night, Ole the scream in her sleep. Nkiri rushed to her side and held her closely, whispering, You are not alone, Oledo. We love you. Oledo's eyes fill with tears. I am scared, she said softly. We will protect you, she said, holding her hand. We are a family. Slowly, Inkiru's kindness began to make a difference. Oledo's strange behavior lessened and the arrest occurrence became less frequent. The house started to feel lighter, filled with more laughter and less fear. One night, one morning, Nkeru woke up, feeling strange. She visited the doctor and received the surprising news. She was pregnant. Months later, Nkeru gave birth to a healthy baby baby boys, twins. The house was filled with joy and the laughter of children. Oledo was no longer the haunted girl they once knew. She was a happy, lovely sister to the twins. Nkiru and Shidi looked at their family and knew they have overcome the darkness with love and kindness. Their home was now a place of light, laughter, and endless love. The story of Inkiru and Shidi showed the power of com compassion and the importance of never giving up on someone, no matter how dark things might seem. The story also teaches us about the power of love and kindness. Despite the fear and chaos caused by the spirit, Inkiru and Shidi unconditional love and kindness Toward Oledo, help to drive away the darkness and bring peace to their home. I hope you enjoyed this story.
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to receive more updates on when and upload a new video. See you in my next video. Bye.